Hey guys, my name is Dia, aka Or of Oriwaces.com, and welcome back to another episode of Witches of the Moon. This week, as you already know, we are talking about altars and altar uses. Um, sorry, my person got stuck in the skin. Anyway, um, an altar basically is an area that is an area basically that is dedicated for an energetic purpose. At least that's my definition of it. Excuse me, I'm thirsty. Suck it, one second. Get my little cuppy cup. My little sippy cup. Okay. So altar is basically an area that's dedicated for a specific energetic um, spiritual purpose. With that being said, there could almost anything, or basically anything, could be an altar. Your body could become an altar. You are energy, you are spirit, so your body could be a dedicated altar unto yourself. Uh, what does that mean? That means you take care of yourself to the best of your ability. When you look in the mirror, you praise yourself. You offer offerings to yourself, like buying new jewelry or putting on cologne or, eat, or perfume or eating a piece of fruit. Um, all that would be offerings or sacrifices unto yourself. So your whole body, one, could be an altar. Uh... Anything could be an altar. Where you put lay your jewelry could be an altar. You know, your jewelry is dedicated to beautifying, be um, beautifying, or making you feel beautiful. Why can't I say that word? I don't know. I don't know what's happening with the words today. My lip just go. I don't know. <laughs> but okay, so it could be a jewelry altar. Um, and that could be a beautification altar, you know, where you have, like I said, we have your perfumes could be an altar. Your bathroom sink could be an altar. That's where you clean it. You brush your teeth. You wash your face. You do whatever else you do over there in your bathroom sink. Um, take a whole bath. Keep your perfumes, your your fingernail polish, your soaps, or whatever. That could be a, that could be a cleansing altar. Um, then you have, you know, actual altar. Then you have, not actual, because that is an altar. You have ancestor altars, you, which is an altar that's dedicated to your ancestors. And depending on what um, spirituality you follow will de depict what you put on that altar. Um, you can have a money altar. You can have a book altar dedicated to your education. You know, your bookcase could be an altar. That could be for meditation, education, and, um, you know, just devotion. A study altar, whatever, anything could be an altar, and there's so many different uses for them. Your kitchen, at least I know my kitchen is an altar, where you do your kitchen spells, or practically almost any spell. Um, you know, you make your teas, you cook your food, you bless it. You can set up, your whole kitchen can be set up like an altar, as in, um, you know, you clean your cabinets, you put your seasonings, everything, your, your canned foods, your dry foods, all that. And then some part in your kitchen, you light a candle or whatever you want to put in, put in there. You know, some people have salt, salt and pepper shakers. I'm sorry, salt and pepper. Well, you can do salt and pepper shakers, but they have the, um, the sugar and the flour jars or the... Um, now I can't think of the word. They're like, like the Angel Mama type. I cannot think of the proper name. I, I'm sorry, spirits. And the, the mill counterparts would, would be the sugar and flour jars, you know. And you charge them with candles and prayers and stuff like that. You charge all of them with your prayers and your dedications. And basically anything could be an altar, okay? And there's all different types of uses. You can have a traveling altar. Your car is technically a traveling altar. You, could de you can offer um, good gas if you can afford it, premium gas to your car. Um, and a car wash could be, a nice car wash could be devotion. You know, it got to take you to and from. You might as well treat it like altar. Your bus pass. Got to take you to and from. Put your bus pass on the prosperity altar so that way you can, you can always have money to travel to and from. Like anything could be an altar. All you got to do is take a little bit of creativity. The thing I love about um, spirituality is that it's a whole art form. And once you look at it from an art form, then you know artistic ex artistic expression can be done in many ways. And once you understand artistic expression can be done in many ways, there is no end to how you build your altar and what you put on your altar, depending on your path. Certain paths, you have to do certain things. But if you have an eclectic path where you're not devoted in any partic particular lineage, I mean... 
the only limitations is your mind and your creativity. So yeah, so that's it. That's all I have to say about altars and their uses. Um, you know, a graveyard, altars, the ancestors, like you can do so much. You can make almost anything else. Everything can be an altar. Um, yeah, that's it. Because at this point, I'm going to start rambling, which I think I already am. Cause... Yeah, because I am. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Um, hope you have a beautiful week. Don't forget to watch everybody's videos. Don't forget to like, comment. And if you're not subscribed, what you know with your life? Because you don't already binge watched a couple of these videos. So you might as well just... So you know when we upload more, just go ahead and just... Or where is it at? I think it's like... Down, there, down there. Why can't I get on camera? There we go. That's the one. That's the one right there. All right, guys. <laughs> Stay blessed to be a blessing. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.